this this class is being recorded. So if if I mean you know you don't get something, don't panic. You'll be able to um, see this later on. But there's um, I, I forgot his name. Uh, um, Andrew, he's he's here. If you have any questions, you can ask me or you can ask Andrew. I'm here to help you guys. Okay, so what we're going to do this evening, we're going to model um, a tire. Right? We're going to um, use a combination, well, very shortly, but a, a combination with, with a deformer. And we're going to see also uh, modeling techniques. You, you can use deformers, and they're very handy for you to um, model with. Uh, and when I say deformers, it's in the animation bit here, create deformers. So, so as you'll see, we're, we're going to use the, the um, bend deformer. But you can use deformers for, for whole for many, many, many things once you create a model, as you'll see. Okay, so um, when you analyze this this wheel here, you, we're going to model this one by one, it will be a line there. But if you look at it, there's a pattern here, which are these, um, these it's a repetition of these beds, right? They're, they're, they're examples of other wheels. They're also repeated dents, basically, with this with this extrude, right? So what we're going to do first is we're going to create these dents, and then we're going to duplicate it, and we're going to form a wheel with that. It sounds really easy, but it's tricky. Um, we're going to try to model in quads, as you must know, it's always important to try to make everything quadrilateral. Uh, I mean, triangular faces are okay, um, but quadrilateral ones are, are, are the best, but anything bigger than, than four size, five size, six size, it can um, make give the, the people rendering big problems. So you, um, a, a polygon can never pass for sites in, in a professional environment. Okay, so we're going to start with a cube. Okay, one one normally tries to the the best way to model is to begin with something simple. And then gradually go building into it until you get uh, what you want. So to to do this these dents here, right? I'm going to use more or less this this guy as a basis. I think it's the coolest wheel there, or or, or this you know something between this and that. This one here has a bit too much detail, which, which you can do on, on your own, but we're going to try to go for something simpler, so something between actually these two. Okay. And um, as we're going to be duplicating, it's good for you to always keep the center of, of the object um, here. We're going to be duplicating it so, so if you have it in, in different places it may look weird or, or it may make your, your workflow bad so the first thing I'm going to do is take off my stuff select and I'm going to extrude this okay so I'm going to extrude one side we're kind of doing one of these just just this guy here Right, and then I'll extrude it again. Right, and I'll show you why. So if I just hit extrude, whoops, bring it out again. Okay, it doesn't need to be precise. And then 
because the the wheel has this kind of has has this indentation. If I bring back the picture, it kind of goes goes down here. So I'll bring this down, probably out something like this. Okay. So I'm going to also take my um, grid up and because I'm going to be duplicating stuff, right, I'm going to delete the outer faces and this will make sense later but we're going to be kind of doing like a jigsaw puzzle with, with, with these guys so, so it's good to have it as minimal as possible. Right? Now one thing most of you must know is that if I press 3, right, I smooth everything. Now, now if I smooth this it looks very bad. Okay? So as I want my model smooth, so this is all nice and smooth and stuff, I'll start smoothing it right now. Right, it's it, it's always better if, if you're gonna do complex stuff, do it in in, in your original um, Lego piece, so to say, rather than try to smooth or, or make it look good when everything is done. So so this first piece has to look good, and and then we take it from there. Okay. Now, one tool that we, I'm just going to hide this because I, I think your, your machine is coming without this. But, so one tool that I'm going to use a lot is the, um, here, the insert edge loop, which I hope you're familiar with. So as I'm going to use this a uh, lot, I'm going to middle click it and put it up here in, in my modeling tools because I, I don't want to stay opening my uh, menu the whole time and uh, um, getting it, you, you know, it's much faster and, and it's annoying really to, to stay opening it. So, so, so as you see here, I'm uh, making it look more, more sharp or sharper. Right, uh, here also make it look a bit sharper, and here in the bottom probably also make it look sharp too. No, actually here I, 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 I won't do that. So I've inserted this extra loop here that I don't like, right? So instead of deleting everything, if if I delete this, this edge loop, what would happen? Right? If I show this in, I'll just put this in 4, right? If I delete this, you can already see that it looks weird here. This is because the vertices here, right? So you don't want these vertices. So what's much better to do, right, is for you to do control, right mouse button, okay? You come to your edge loop utilities here and to edge loop and delete. So it, it will also delete the, the um, vertices. Okay, so put it back to five here. And now we, we have a little problem here. Okay, that perhaps some people will be okay with this, but perhaps the, a company you work for doesn't, doesn't want this here, wants this here to be straight, or you, or you want the model here to be straight. So you want to bring this up, right? So put this back to one. Now, if I just bring this up, I'll, I'll, I'll just show you what the problem here is. If, if, if I just bring this up as it is, it'll kind of look weird here. It, it created this, if, if I exaggerate it, it it's taking away my my shape, right? So what I want to do here is I want to come to edit mesh and slide edge tool, 
So this here will make it go on the surface rather than, whoops. What I have to do, I have to drag my middle middle mouse button and, and it will stay on, on the surface rather than going up and down.